All right, guys. Well, I know our last video was uh, working on and rebuilding Jerry's transmission. I know Steven was kind of working through that and everything and talking uh, about what the plans are next for Jerry. But in this video, we are going to kind of go over kind of what went wrong on the drive, the quick drive with the Camaro. Um, solve a few problems, hopefully, or look for a few problems. Um, we know we had some clunking in the front end and it wouldn't shift. So hopefully we can kind of work through that. Um, but yeah, I just want to make a quick intro here to kind of explain what's going on. And then, uh, I don't know, I think first step we're going to pull the wheel front wheels off and see where we can see some like clunking and stuff. And uh, hopefully, it's, hopefully it's just the wheel weights. That's what we're thinking. Because we've got some wheel spacers. Uh, they're quarter inch wheel spacers. So we think if it's just rubbing on the strut that this quarter of an inch will get us just far enough out that it should it's be not, fine. It's not making that noise. And anymore. I think we have enough like wheel gap between the fenders and stuff to kind of have no problem where it's sticking out too crazy. So we're going to take a look at that and uh, follow us along. Hopefully by the end of this thing, we'll actually do a real drive and do some burnouts. So this thing needs to do burnouts with the V8 and a little bit higher revving than just like 1500. Yeah. 1500 rpm so we can actually hear what this thing really is going to sound like well it's still open headers but should be pretty fun all right so we got it jacked up and we are pulling off the passenger side wheel first and seeing uh where it's hitting i don't know i think it's just hit rubbing on the strut that or like control arm ball joint maybe uh, i already had it when i first put these on i already had to clearance the strut a little bit for how wide these front wheels are so we need an impact if milwaukee wants to sponsor us we're perfectly fine with that uh, i don't see right it's, it's just, that's where i had to there's a little chip mark right there. Oh, the wheel oh, wait, right here. Whatever it is, the ball joint. Hey, the w it's hitting the wheel weight, and the wheel weight's spinning. Oh no, that's what it's hitting. It's hitting the wheel weight, and it's spinning on the inside. It's wait, it's what the wheel weight's spinning. Either the wheel weight's spinning. Well, you can tell it's right. It's the ball joint right here. The tie rod? Or, yeah, the tie rod. Okay, well, Duh. that quarter inch spacer should, should work just fine. Take care of that. So, yeah, go grab one. We'll throw it on and see how much space we have on the threads. Oh, we got plenty. Of, we'll have plenty of thread left. Oh, okay. I don't like these as much because they're not a hub centric. Right. Um, but they'll work for now until we can get some hub centric ones. All right. Because they drop, yeah. They float. There's probably inserts that you put in there too, but we don't have any. Yeah. Oh well. They're just cheap, cheap O'Reilly wheel spacers. It'll work for now. It's kind of a, yeah. it's not exactly a, not a daily, so. Cool. We'll go ahead and get these both sides put on and then we'll cut back to hopefully it's not going to be rubbing anymore. All right, so we got the wheels back on. I'm pretty sure that was the fix because now it spins way more freely. The brakes are still kind of hanging up because hanging up they're brand new but and new rotors, but there's no more clunking and they actually spin. Um, so yeah, that took care of that problem. Um, next thing we're going to do, we're going to fire it up warm it up and uh check the transmission fluid level make sure it's good and then we're probably going to check the power wire going to the shift the uh shift mechanism on the transmission make sure that's working and then we'll try to take it for another drive and see if we can get it to shift out of first gear but that'll be next we're going to go and leave it up on the jack stand so we can uh make sure it's level for the transmission fluid and then uh, we'll fire it up and let it warm up all right I put like, there's probably like four or five. Okay. Because well, if I put a couple in it, 
before we drove it. Home. Yeah, and then um, I we put two. I put two in it, and that's what made it. You saw I found. You here. saw I found the other train tunnel. Yeah, that's what I used. check everything and then uh, we'll go from there all right so I got the laptop hooked up the motors already up to 160 degrees um, so we should be able to check the fluid level um, do you want to go ahead and yeah. check it here Touching. Nothing, on the Nothing on the stick. So we have, we still have like another quart and a half to put it. So we'll uh, go ahead and dump that in real quick. Get it in the fill. Well, we found some transmission slip, stop, and leak. So put that in too. I mean, it's higher mileage train so why not we're gonna hopefully we have enough fluid air in the garage to uh, make it actually work shift we can actually drive it down the road a little bit and now that the clunking isn't freaking us out we should be fine there's a little bit of a fuel leak on this one injector but nothing else is leaking so we should be fine just to make it not even barely a mile down the road so I don't know we're gonna let it um, cycle through a little bit we'll add another maybe another core we'll check it and then uh, put it back down on the ground and get ready to take it for a little drive Well, it's not got any sensors hooked up. Um, well, in HB tuners here, we turned on line pressure reading and then desired current. So we know the transmission's getting um, power. And then when we rev it now, we're seeing a higher increase in pressure. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, shut it down, get it down on the ground, and then maybe take it for a drive, okay? All right, well, we got it back down on the ground. Um, everything looks fine um, so we're gonna go ahead and hop in it we're gonna try to make that gas station run again real quick and then uh, if everything goes smoothly with that we'll probably put some gas in it and then I don't know, drive it down into Mexico and do some burnouts mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, see how that goes hope we don't break this kind of small rear end but, but other than that um, we're just gonna bring you along for the drive and just see how it goes but if we do break it, it will make for some fantastic video. Yeah. The thing is, it's such a small rear end, you probably don't even notice that it breaks. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> but all right, we'll go ahead and get in the, the car and uh, hopefully make it this time. All right. 
hopefully uh, this drive goes smoother than the last. Hopefully the throttle still works. Shut the pump off. Hold on. Don't, don't stop. Hold on. I think we just lost the rear ender. Drive shaft. <laughs> well. Um. Drive shaft's not there. Where's the drive shaft? It's stuck up. It came out of the U-bolt. It's stuck up inside the car? No, it's stuck in up between the uh, between the uh, third member and the and the torque arm. Well, that was a short drive. <laughs> Shit. Well, that definitely didn't go as planned. Um, came back to get the truck, and then. Uh, I'm gonna drive back down there where Steven is. See if we can uh, tow the thing back. Hopefully it's not, the drive shaft's not too broken. Um, probably U joints and what I'm thinking is the straps that connected it to the rear end just came up either unbolted or weren't, weren't the right ones that I grabbed off. Might've been the ones off of Jerry or, uh, or another rear end we have. So I will right, we'll see, I'm gonna tow it back and then uh, I don't know. I mean, we got it to shift though. So <laughs> um, I found out the shifter, it was drive and that thing is actually in first. So that's why it wasn't shifting. So it should be fine. I'm hoping it's probably just a U joint. So U joints are no big deal, cheap too. So I don't know. Good news is, is it actually shifts and works. The bad news is we still can't make it to the freaking gas station. So I don't know. I'm going to go grab him and, uh, tow it back and then we'll kind of see what really happened all right okay well we got it strapped down we're about to pull it to the house steven's gonna be driving it um let's just nose it into the driveway so that way we can roll it into the garage and get better access to the van okay i'll just pull it past then and we'll just turn it in yeah. okay all right well we're gonna try to do that well, we're rolling. It's gonna be slow. You can barely even see the car, but we're making it down the road. Slow but steady, but still pretty happy with the drive. Um, obviously, the we're pretty sure it's the straps were too big on the U joint. Um, so easy fix. I just hope it didn't tear up too much. I don't think it did. I don't think it like spun long enough maybe just a new u-joint but drive shaft's probably fine um it kind of wedged itself in that third link so it didn't pop out so no fluid or anything's dumping out of the transmission so that's good um so other than that i think it's just a u-joint on the rear end and then uh we'll be back driving we'll see if we can get that done so we can get some burnouts in this freaking video but hopefully by the time that's this video is done we'll actually be driving it and Maybe we'll actually make it to the gas station and then uh, go from there.
we got it home we got it in the garage and then uh we'll go ahead and get it jacked up in the rear and see what happened okay guys so uh i got the car jacked up i'm getting ready to grab the jack stands throw under it Then we'll crawl under there and look exactly what's going on. All right, let's see what we can find out. Well, I already see something that's not good. Obviously, we've lost the caps off the drive shaft. I don't know if you can see that or not. But, yeah, we're going to have to get a new... Uh, I have to get a new U-joint. <laughs> but... Oh, it took out the... That, that bolt is bent right there. We're probably going to have to get new straps and new bolts and everything for it. Um, gouged up the floor pretty good. And she's wedged. She's wedged up in there tight. So we're probably going to have to. Yeah, we're probably going to have to take the shocks off and drop the whole car down or drop the whole axle down because it's wedged up in there between the floor and the uh, torque arm and it's gouged that floor pretty good in fact it's beat it up pretty good it's got a little pocket right up in here where the drive shaft fits so hopefully we didn't poke a hole in the floor, but yeah, that uh, definitely isn't good. The uh, U-joint, either the, well, either the U-joint came apart or or the straps didn't hold or the straps weren't tight because I would say it's probably the latter of the two that we probably just forgot to tighten them and this was the result all right well I know Steven showed you underneath the car and kind of what the damage was and here are the u-bolt straps and I think the nuts are a couple of the nuts are kind of bent um, you can see that one's gonna need replaced. Um, and this one, I think all of them are kind of bent actually. Um, maybe one is salvageable. I think this one's about the only one that looks okay. But I think what happened is they just weren't tight. Um, I think we got them tightened underneath the car and then just never had the transmission, you know, locked into place and to have to like really tighten them down. So I think they just came apart. Um, and that's kind of that's kind of what I. It's yeah so so i think we're we i think we have more straps but i think the straps are okay i think we need to find bolts um the straps look okay um probably got to go get a new u-joint at the parts store and we should be back up and running i don't know if that screws us for today but we'll see what we can do and at least at least drive it down the road i went ahead and got some gas at the gas station so you know, all we got to do is drive down the road and see if this thing will, I don't know, actually make it somewhere. But we'll cut back to that once we have the parts, but we're kind of down for a minute. So at least we got it back in the garage for now. And I don't know, <laughs> this one actually was worse than the last time. I'll go for a little clunking. This was like a major clunking. I thought the whole freaking rear end fell well, apart. You know what's interesting though, is that clunking sound? Could have very well been the u-joints sliding around no because it that. that it was completely gone it, 
It was. The, the front rotation, it was like rot rotating like the wheel, but... But, I mean, that's the good news, is that the clunking's gone, and yeah. it shifts. Transmission, we figured out the transmission shift, so... Now we just need a U-joint, which luckily is probably one of the easiest things on this car to deal with. So we'll go ahead and get that fixed. And then, uh, I don't know, I'm sure our reactions in the video because it pretty much exploded while we were driving down the road. So that should be pretty fun, but uh, I don't know. We'll get it back on the road. So we'll check back in in a second. All right, guys. So we just got the new U-joints. And straps just in today. So I'm gonna go ahead and open those up. Hopefully it's not, that's what we need. Let's have some Moog U-joint and Moog strap kit. And that is everything else, so. This was obviously the problem. Got clips, greasing. There we go. So, got the new U joint. And then, open this box up. There should be a new strap kit for that U joint. So we got four new bolts and two brand new straps. Um, so that will fix the drive shaft problem. We're gonna have to take the drive shaft out to put this in, um, and then we will. Get it back driving and we'll end this video on a drive. So I'm going to go ahead and throw these in and then we'll cut it back to me driving. Um, well, guys, um, bad news on this video. I wanted to end it out on a freaking another drive doing some burnouts after we fixed the drive shaft. Um, but it looks like I got the wrong U-joint um, when I ordered it. I ordered the bigger, heavier duty one. Um, it just doesn't fit. And uh, I'm going to have to order um, just a standard one. Um, which I think is a little smaller, um, will actually fit for this rear end, which I know sucks. I promise I'm, I really want to go with, have this thing longer than like a two second drive, you know, and do some burnouts and really, you know, drive this thing around for the first time. Um, but I promise that will be in the next video, uh, without question, but I'm going to go ahead and end it off here and, um, I'll catch you guys next week. Um, the car is still sitting in the garage on jack stands ready to go um we went ahead and got the old u-joint pulled out of the drive shaft um so everything's ready to go as soon as i get the new u-joints we'll just smack it right in and uh go for a drive so that'll be the next video so look forward to that but uh you know there's a little action in this one as far as the drive shaft about falling out of it and me and Steven have to go change our pants after that little drive. So, but yeah, check us out next week. Like, subscribe to the video, um, tell your friends, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.